It's official, The Amazing Spider-Man is set to become a trilogy. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti and ENTV has all the details. Following The Amazing Spider-Man's explosive box office kickoff this week, bringing in nearly $60 million gross since its July 3rd opening, a post on the film's official Facebook page confirmed the news that fans had anticipated. It read, it's finally here. The Amazing Spider-Man is the first installment in a movie trilogy that will explore how our fave hero's journey was shaped by the disappearance of his parents. But who will return for the follow-ups to this year's blockbuster, which currently stars Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone? Those details have yet to be released, but when asked about returning for another Spidey flick, the amazing Spider-Man director Mark Webb told the Huffington Post last month, people ask about the sequel, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't know if I want to do that, but I love the process. I love Andrew and Emma, but it's like asking someone who has just given birth, do you want to get pregnant again? Webb has yet to comment on his future of the franchise since the announcement, but it wouldn't be the first time a franchise has succeeded without the original director. Twilight's Katherine Hardrick was replaced by Chris Weitz for the Twilight Saga New Moon, still a box office blowout. This is the last time you'll ever see me. Please just promise me you won't do anything reckless. In 1989, Tim Burton directed the first Batman installment with Michael Keaton. They returned in the 1992 sequel Batman Returns, but in 1995, Joel Schumacher took over the directing chair in Batman Forever with Val Kilmer as Batman, grossing more than Batman Returns. Your entrance was good. Was better. We'll keep you updated on the latest Spidey news, but for now, expect the first Amazing Spider-Man sequel to hit theaters in May of 2014. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.